Hello video editors, welcome to Panda Frames. Today we're gonna learn this effect in Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's get started. Inside Premiere Pro, I've already got these two clips. Now first of all, what you have to do, you have to stack the, the second clip above the first. We're gonna choose two seconds as you can see here. Now press C to control uh, to select the razor tool. Now make a cut over here at the end of the second clip and with the help of the selection tool move the cutout part back to the first track. After that what you have to do is head over to the effects panel and you have to write transform. Now drag this transform effects above on the above clip. Now head over to the effects control while the above clip selected and under the under the transform you have to enable the position the keyframes the position keyframes it's gonna create a keyframe and movie play had backwards like I think it's good now there and uh, again if you want to move your clips from right, left to right you can it's all preferences left to right top to down it's up to you I'm gonna choose to left to right all the way towards the left I think that's okay and uh, move your first keyframe towards the left and uh, on the second keyframe right click temporal interpolation and ease in to smoothen the transition let's see what we got for now after that we have to uncheck the use composition shutter and to add some blurriness blurriness we have to add some shutter angle i'm going to choose 75 it's going to be okay after that you have to nest the above clip right click nest and hit okay after that we have to add more effects head over to the effects panel and write echo drag this echo effect on the nested clip and head over to the effects menu and change the echo operator to the composite in back. Number of AK equals must be seven. It's up to you. Seven, eight. How many slides of your of your papers you wanna see? I'm gonna choose seven. Seven is good. And change the echo time to zero, minus zero point one. Minus zero point one is good. After that, enable keyframes. And change the echo time to zero again it's gonna keep making another keyframe drag the first keyframe at the beginning and drag the second keyframe at the end of the clip we want our echo to end after the clips ends one last effect is remaining is uh, last uh, effect is we have to add some shadow so it is radial shadow drag this radial shadow effects on the nested clip now it's all about the order change the order of these effects we want our ra re radial shadow above the echo drag this radial echo above the echo that's looking really cool after that we have to do some changes in radial shadow and we have to softness we have to change softness to 50% and project distance to 1 turn off we're already done and now press enter to render the files here yeah, we are with the results make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already thanks for watching